All right. So welcome, everybody, back to Nas Off Topic. It's our live, unfiltered show where we can say as many offensive things as we want. So, Kevin, go ahead yes. and start us off with an offensive remark. Uh, my name is not Jose. Uh, <laughs> totally. <offensive. laughs> First of all, that would have been offended offensive. right there. Yeah. I'm offended. Uh, As offensive. you guys can see, we're not. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I, I can't. I, I, just anything I say is offensive these days in 2022. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Especially with that um, complexion. Yes. <laughs> exactly. There are no safe things at all. Wait, wait. So we're allowed to right. be offensive. Were we not allowed to be offensive on the other podcast? Because I feel like it was. We do, but we get flagged anyways. But eh, oh, that's okay. okay. There we go. Dan does his that's best right. to edit that out. Yeah, exactly. And this one, I don't have that option, my friend. So it could be as yeah. offensive as we want. So that's good. And I, I so, could edit this one. I just choose not to. I like it better than it's not. Right. Kind of keeps the whole, you know, mystique of it. But so we have a fun game that uh, Jose down below, which is really Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Lyons, mm -hmm. is going to be playing. Guess what's in the box, or in this case, the package. Oh, yes. What's in the package? As you can see, I collect VHS tapes, and mm -hmm. I just got I just got one in the mail today, and I was going to do an unboxing, and I want to know, I'm, I want to see if you guys can guess it. I will give you clues. Okay. The, okay, okay, the okay. first clue is a late 1980s horror comedy. Late 1980s horror comedy. And the next um, hint will be an actor, in the, in the, okay, in the if okay. you need a hint. Uh, Evil Dead. Is there anything along those lines? No, it's not Evil, Evil Dead. Dead. Okay, Early George. 80s, George. House Two. No, it's not House Two. Would you like another hint? <laughs> it better not be. <laughs> yeah, it better not be Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Please. No, it's not, not Killer Clowns. Although I'm looking yes. for that one. Yes. Uh, no, it's no, uh, Corey not. Feldman is in the movie. Lost Boys. No. Nope. Oh. This is because he was in a lot. He was in a lot of eighties. A lot of movies <laughs> and, and a lot yeah. of like horror comedy. So this is a horror comedy. Horror Corey horror. Feldman is in it, but he's not like the main main character. So it's not Bordello of Blood because that came out in the early nineties, right? You said late. Yeah, remember horror comedy. Yeah, horror comedy that he did that Corey Feldman was in. Dang it, I'm not getting much. George, can and you the, please hit the, us ma the main music? the main character <laughs> is a very <laughs> famous actor. Main character is very famous. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Gremlins. No, no wait, wait, no. wait, wait. No, you no, said Corey Feldman been, and Corey. Been, Corey, Corey, Corey Feldman is in it, and yeah. the main actor is a very famous actor. Very famous. Okay, that's like not a lister. Yes, yeah, Zach Galligan isn't very famous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. he is to me, George. He is yeah. to me. <laughs> His notable right, works uh, of uh, Gremlins and Waxwork. Dang, I need more. Oh, he's man. ripping. He's ripping. ripping. I'm ripping. I'm ripping. starting to rip it. I actually got to make sure they sent me the right tape. <laughs> it's like, oh, Titanic. This isn't it. <laughs> Titanic is my favorite horror comedy, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Billy Zane, man. Billy Zane. Long. It's horrifically long. Um, oh, it's Corey Feldman. Cool. Dude, drawing a blank on this. How many movies? Right? Me I mean, Gendo has been in so many movies. You said horror. Horror, horror comedy. Horror comedy. Horror, horror late comedy. 80s. It was, I don't know if it's a in. universal movie, but it was filmed on the universal lot. It was filmed on the universal back lot. Hmm. Need some sound effect music, George. Ooh, I'm trying, I'm trying to think if there's a, a what quotable line. No, it's not, not that. <laughs> it's not the right movie. He also was Let me know if you guys give up. No, can you give us another hint? Yeah, give, give us a uh, another. Uh, ooh, another hint would be uh, Carrie Fisher's in it. Are it. Carrie Fisher's in this. Mm. Horror comedy, late nineteen eighties. Corey Feldman's in it. Carrie Fisher's in it. The main actor is so it's not Tom Lost Hanks. Boys. Is the main actor Tom Hanks? Lost Boys. Is the Lost Boys? No, it's not. It's a. It's, is it the Lost Boys? No, it's not. It's not I know what it is. <laughs> George knows it. George knows it. Say it. Don't say the I magical world of Disney. It's bugging me now because I said who the main actor was. I said, yeah, yeah, it's you, you are correct right. with the main actor. I don't know why I'm not. I don't know why the title's not popping in my head. <laughs> dream a little dream. 
No, that's not no. Four. That's not Tom, four. Five. Oh, Dan, Dan, I'm gonna give four, it to you. The main actor is Tom Hanks. Three, two, <laughs> the Burbs. One. Yes. The that's burbs. It. Yeah. There it is. The Burbs. I know. <laughs> I got the burbs. Yeah. So Jose have, did call uh, it three minutes ago. It has Tom Hanks. Yes. Jose have... got it three minutes ago. And um, hello again to Ronnie. What? Good. Oh no, just t- talking to our comments to our people that are watching. The Where's the show. comments? Where do you see that? Uh, if you look Where on the top right heads. corner, you hit comments. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, <laughs> we okay, communicate cool. with them. By Whoa, our the new technology. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Jose was right. Okay. Jose was right. Okay. Was right. Cool. Did you guys? Okay. Did you guys see? I need to know your guys' thoughts, okay? I haven't seen the She-Hulk episode yet, but there's that clip where, you know, they announced that Megan the Stallion was going to be on it. Everybody joked about she was going to teach her to twerk. Sure enough, I saw a clip. That's exactly what's happening. Mm-hmm. What, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Did you guys see the episode? Like, is it real or is that just like... I, 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 I haven't, I haven't seen the episode. I literally I'm just either. saw the clip right yeah. before I signed on. I'm waiting um, for my wife to get home so we can watch it together. But uh, Are you guys yeah, liking the show? Are you guys I liking am. the show? I do like honestly I, as a as a comic book fan, and of the, I'm a fan of the MCU and what it does for the most part. As a show, mm-hmm. it's actually very entertaining. Yeah. As for uh, getting the character of She-Hulk, it fails on every front. It doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it doesn't know who she yeah. is at all. In the comic book, she yeah. loves being a superhero. In the show, she's like, I don't want to be a superhero. That's not who she is. <laughs> she loves being a superhero and she loves being an attorney. She she can do both at the same time. <clears throat> And Maybe apparently she could twerk to too, it. so that's the re thing. Yeah, apparently, yeah, but it's fun. I think it's a fun show, honestly. <laughs> the twerking, it's, like, but here, here's what, I, I knew that it was going to be controversial with you when you said, like, oh, there she's twerking. I'm like, okay, <laughs> but if like a fan edit made like a 3D She-Hulk twerk, everybody would love it and laugh. But now that it's officially part of the show, I can see people hating on it. Yeah, you know, what? I think it's okay <laughs> yeah. though. Like, I haven't seen it yet, and I have seen the the clip you sent us. How I look at it, that's probably the closest they're getting to nailing Jennifer Walters as the She-Hulk as a character. Because in the comic books, she's very sexual. Like, she owns her sexuality 100%. She she has sex with most of the MC, not MC, but like of the Marvel superheroes. She's practically, she she's practically, yeah, she's like Tony Stark, <laughs> but a girl. <laughs> Interesting. Good. Yeah. Good for her. So I, I think it's okay, honestly. I think they, they, they're, they're getting closer. Okay. Plus, plus with how the show oh. is, she has to break out of her shell a bit. I, I really yeah. like the angle that they're going for it, how she's uh, she's being assigned to defend uh, abomination. abomination. Yeah. I thought that was, I thought, you know, I, I like that angle. I think, I think it's interesting because I, I was, after that first episode, I have no idea what the structure of the show was going to be because that first episode was just explaining how she got her powers. And then that ended, I'm like, all right, well, what's the rest of the series going to be about? And so far, yeah. I like the angle that they're going. Lawyer show. Yeah. Huh? You said what? <laughs> yeah. Lawyer show. Okay. Um, do you guys want to try doing this? Uh, you guys want to try the movie fight? Attack? Okay. Defend? Sure. Okay. So we'll go ahead and explain. Oh, by the way, George, I can't share any of the, of the comments. So that's got to be you this time because I don't have access to it. <laughs> yeah. What do you it. mean, share the comments? So, okay. uh, where people, when they comment on the side, you can go ahead and share it so that way other people can read it. Um, oh, and this, you know, for okay. today, I had to come on as a guest, so I couldn't, I don't have the control over it. But yeah, all right, so what we wanted to play today was the movie fights. So we're going to pick somebody that's going to be an attacker, someone that's going to be a defender. You guys don't know what the movie is. I'm going to use a movie generator, and you guys are just going to have to <laughs> randomly attack and defend movies you may love or hate. That'll be the fun part. But we can try this together, okay? So, uh-huh. you guys ready? Yeah. I have protection. Okay, so, so. <laughs> George, you'll be the attacker first. Kevin, you could be the defender. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and generate some random movies. Let's see what we get. And every time we do this, we need a sound. We also need a sound for this, George. Use it. Oh, what? I got to do sounds and look at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do any of them. <laughs> okay. Mother. Let's see. Mother. Son of a goddamn. <laughs> what is this? I'm going to find something here that we've seen. Okay. Here's one. Um. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> okay, I got it. You guys ready? The yeah. movie is Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy. Oh, George's I have to defend Tommy Boy? Kevin's gonna... You have to defend Tommy Boy. George, you get Who to goes attack first? You. George. I guess George? <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Boy. you're attacking. Oh. Let's... Okay, let's just be real. Tommy Boy, Black Sheep. What's the difference? 
Tommy Boy came first. If you had to ask me which movie is which, they're the same movie. But we're not big asking guy, you. We're not asking guy, you. To big guy you. underdog, little dude who's a pain in the ass asshole who has to help him re reluctantly. Same movie. <laughs> There's no, like, I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you which was like. I know one has to be with someone politics. One has to do with maybe a will. I think because the dad <laughs> dies. <laughs> they're both the same shit. Okay, well, hey, Tommy, Boy, Tommy Boy was so good, they had to make it again as a different change, But change the name. <laughs> they did change the name. Black and no one's, no one's going to tell the difference. <laughs> Tommy Boy, I, Chris Farley is a legend. There is no such thing as a bad Chris Farley movie. Is that what you tell yourself when you go to sleep? Yeah, that's what I tell myself when I go to sleep, when I wake up, when I poop, yeah. every time. <laughs> he was the best legend you in all the world. That. He sells car parts. <laughs> you know what? He, he was sell, he was yeah. he was uh destroying shitty car salesmen left and right, Tommy Boy. Okay? <laughs> yeah. He gave us real cars right out of the, the bull's ass. <laughs> yes. Is that where you want to rebuttal to that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean Jim Carrey gave us humans out of rhinoceros asses. Yes, he did. I don't think I don't think cars out of a bull's ass is any better. Well, it is when Chris Farley does it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you have a rebuttal, George, or is that you, you guys closing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be serious. At, for Chris, Far Chris Farley was funny when I lived in the '90s, but in <laughs> retrospect, looking back at those times, did he do any other different characters besides one character? Uh, yeah, no. Like what? Like like reality was the character he had in Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, and Beverly Hills Ninja were they different characters, or were they just the same guy every time? Well, I don't think I don't think he was alive long enough to evolve. You know, but that's the thing. Like he's considered this legend, but yet for what? For one character? Well, yeah. I mean, that's legend? the difference between actors and movie stars. I'm like, they movie stars are just the same character over and over again. You know, look at Chris Hemsworth. He's the same dude in everything. <laughs> Maybe a little bit <laughs> funnier little in this one, but like, you know, like. <laughs> No one even yeah, knew he in was Beverly Hills. Ninja. That's right, Jose. In Beverly Hills Ninja, he was a damn ninja. Very different. Thank you, Jose. Jose's got my back <laughs> he today. Was. Yes, a clumsy he was. ninja. I'm and sorry. Yes. He's a clumsy ninja. I'm yes. sorry. So just, just to go through some of our comments, uh, Ronnie says it's uh, Tommy Boy's dad that died. So he has to sell car parts. <laughs> Super sad. <laughs> and then uh, Jose I also. That did not read. <laughs> and, she, and she forgot the prostitutes, too. The, also, the prostitutes with the coke every day. <laughs> yeah. It seemed like he had a good life, you know, might have been short lived, but he had a good life. But very energy, energetic. Yeah, absolutely. So overall, I'd have to give the point to Kevin. <laughs> I feel like Kevin gave us some good enthusiasm there, gave us some good counts, gave us some good points on that. I love okay. Chris Farley, man. I think Chris Farley's funny. And the whole uh, fat man in a little coat. What a good scene, dude. <laughs> David Spade, that was probably David Spade's. That's absolutely David Spade's best person to bounce off of. I don't think David what? Spade has gotten anywhere close to that. Wasn't that fat guy in a little That's coat like an SNL joke, inside joke between them? I don't know. I, I heard about. I thought. I thought I read about a background story between, uh, you know, where where the fat guy in a little coat bit came from. But maybe it I probably just, was. Uh, probably been the whole. What is it? The, the guy by the river. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Who doesn't want to live in a van down by the river now? Why was that bad in the nineties? It's awesome now. Everybody's doing it. They're converting all their vans. <laughs> like, come on. Yes. He was a trendsetter. Okay. Yes. So we have our next movie. So, Kevin, you'll be an attacker. Oh, sure. George, you'll be a defender for this one. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I need I need better ones because they're not giving me good ones here. Let's see. Yeah, last one was a doozy. <laughs> yeah, because they're giving me one that I'm like, eh. Let's see. Oh, we need music again, George. Okay. Oh, okay. I got one. <laughs> That's not <a> sed <laughs> seductive. <laughs> not quite the movie we want to set here. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, do we do we have a Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> Come and knock on our door. <laughs> Whoa, There's Chuck! Now he's got uh -oh. more faces around. Hey, I'm Kevin. <laughs> there we no. are. Hey, there I am. 
Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and now Chuck has to crash the scene. Yay. Hey. He's late every time. Every time. All right. For this next movie, we're going to set up Roger Rabbit. Ooh, Kevin's oh. got to attack Roger oh. Rabbit. George has to Roger Oh, Rabbit. no. I hate and tunes. We, we... What a stupid <laughs> rabbit. Roger Rabbit. Who? First of all, who names a rabbit Roger? And second, <laughs> that was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Now I have to hate on it. Um, yeah, exactly. And you can't because <laughs> you know, it hurts your soul to no. hate on one of the greatest animation cross live action films ever. One of the worst characters Christopher Lloyd has ever played ever. Oh, my God. So dumb. Bob Haskins. What did he do after that? Nothing. Failed his career. <laughs> as, as we say, he's a legend. He didn't have to do anything if he didn't want to. Mm -mm. So it, it, it was in, 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 you because know what? Think about this. That it's the reason only time, it's the only time you is the reason why back and the Warner brothers involved. together at the same time, you had Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse. While people still loved both of them, no one hated them yet. They were just beloved creatures and they joined forces to make this wondrous thing. There was a baby who smacked ass and smoked cigars. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that alone, that part was so good they gave him a short. Who who is the voice of Jessica Rabbit? Baby. It who was Jessica uh, Rabbit was uh, uh, Kath, uh Catherine Turner, uh, right? Catherine yes. Yes. is that her oh. name? Catherine Turner. That's sultry about, voice. Talk about so ugly. Sultry. Ugly. Try to play a hot woman. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so dumb that she's in your dreams, right? <laughs> exactly. And not only that, she would like it, 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 it she would she would Jessica Rabbit was my first boner, and um, <laughs> thank you for helping my side yeah. on this. Yep, Suck that, yeah. George. Well, Suck no, that. because you know, I'm just so awful. Were you ashamed of your first boner that it was on a cartoon, or <laughs> that was Kathleen Turner? That's why I was ashamed that my first boner was Kathleen Turner's voice. Yes, all right. So, Chuck, what, what do you think? Let's have you weigh in on this. And I think we're gonna start doing pairs after this one, man. We'll try we'll try tag teams. Tag team. I don't I don't even game. know what's what's what I don't even know what's going on. What's going on? What, what am I doing? Movie fights. Am I same thing? Am I talking judging? shit? <laughs> am I talking shit? No, am right now you're shit? judging. Who, who do you think had the best? Oh, play? oh, oh I'm in. And I'm you ready. can't just say what where you think because you have to keep in mind uh Kevin's going <laughs> has it a little harder right now. He's having to attack <laughs> <laughs> Roger Rabbit. Yeah, Kevin went pretty hard in the paint for that hard on for Kathleen. Kathleen Turner? Is that what, Kathleen Turner? Is that yes. what we're going with? Oh, man. I kind of want to. I'm Kathleen Turner. Yeah, I'm supposed to yeah she's pretty manly. <laughs> she's got like a manly. Uh, she's pretty manly, you know. But I think that, I, you know, that movie is scary to me. It scared me when I was a kid. Um, Why? Like Christopher Lloyd, he was fucking scary at the end, right? Like, <laughs> it's a villain. Me, Eddie, yeah. I killed your brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wanted to actually yeah. see him as the cartoon, like fully as the cartoon version. You know what I mean? We didn't get, we didn't get. Yeah, to see so it was just the already. eyes. Yeah, yeah, just the eyeballs, man. I wanted to see it. I would say because of that cartoon, every time when I wanted something from my mother, I'd always just be like, yeah. "Mom, can I have it? Can I have it?" She was like, "No." I was like. <laughs> And after every time I do that, she's just like, "All right, fine." Hey. Hey. Yeah. Manipulation at its finest. Yeah. <laughs> you found it and you capitalized. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do a different movie. We're gonna generate. So. Well, we'll know who's the winner on that. Who gets oh yeah, point? Chuck. Go ahead. Uh, Chuck. you know what? I caught the end, so I have to go with Kevin. Sorry, George, only because he he went pretty hard in the paint, and I caught the end. I I didn't really. That's why yeah, I'm not I'll going by your vote. I'm going to go by Dan's vote. Dan, who did you pick? <laughs> All right, go ahead, Dan. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll make Kevin back to the He voted for one, me, one. too, by saying he loved Jessica Rabbit. I yeah. did until I found out what the voice was. You did. You can't so fight the heart about her. You can't fight but it. But he muted his, he muted his The voice. boner always wins. <laughs> <laughs> now we need music, please. What are those beeps that you I'm hearing? 
Oh, just in case you swear. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to mix it up on this one, okay? So, Chuck, I'm going to give you this one solo. You're not battling anybody on this. You're going to tell me why X-Men The Last Stand is a, was the best X-Men movie out of the franchise. <laughs> Because they no, so, because they me. they did the the Phoenix Saga so well, <laughs> best ever on film, <laughs> and um, and and we got a, a porcupine uh, mutant. Oh my god! I never wanted to <laughs> oh see a god. porcupine, <laughs> a porcupine uh, mutant. And then oh, what's uh, what's the girl? That's a guy now. Um, yes, yeah, Cage. Yes, it has Elliot Page. Turns out that was his real superpower. Yeah, who doesn't (laughs) love Elliot Page? Elliot Page is Kitty Kitty Price. Kitty, I got that right. Kitty Pride. Yeah, Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride. It's got the it's got the juggernaut bitch. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, and uh, what's the which was super popular at the time? Super popular at that time. That phrase. Brett Ratner. God, who doesn't love Brett Ratner? I love his directing. (laughs) A Family Man. Hollywood great movie. Rush out. Did he get canceled? I thought he they did get canceled, yeah. By Wonder Woman? Yeah, he did. Gal Gadot, he did. didn't she like blast him or something like that on the internet? She was saying how he's just an awful person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, she really did, yeah. I shouldn't be laughing about that, but yeah, that really happened. Um, <laughs> but right. and it, it closed out such a great trilogy started by brian singer uh god it was so good that also evolution got canceled brian singer also, also got canceled <laughs> yeah it had a bunch of directors who were wrongfully me too'd and were able has to- matthew vaughn been canceled too i just want to see if <laughs> all the directors have been canceled at one point. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and it's got it you know it's got Wolverine in it. It's so fucking good. It's in San Francisco. Hey, That's man. all you needed. Wolverine was in it. Yeah, That's all you needed. In it. That's it, man. That's all we needed. Every movie that you yeah, the best one. Colossus yeah, the and Wolverine did the, the speedball special, right? Or fastball special. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the poster is so good because it's Wolverine's claws for like, it's, this is part three. It's fucking awesome. Great yeah. marketing. God, I love that shit, dude. Yeah. What a great <laughs> movie. The best, probably the best oh, yeah. comic book movie ever. I like so. Jose's comment. <laughs> They killed off Cyclops. That's why it's the best movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good, too. Okay. I, I kind of like what we're going with this t- with this game. We're going to try it again. So, George, you're going to attack a movie, okay? All right. You're going to tell me why Toy Story sucks. I mean, why is it overrated? <laughs> why does it you suck? Not overrated. Why does it suck? It sucks because yeah. let's look at it this way you have these toys who can actually talk and interact with each other. And their life goal is to make sure that their owner, Andy, is happy at all times, right? That he has the best time ever. But yet they don't actually interact with him. If my toys moved and did shit on their own, I would be the happiest kid in the world. But no, they hide their best tr- attributes away from him. Thinking like, this is how we're making him that, yeah, he needs us being still dumbasses. It's like, no, if he knew that you guys had a whole world that you live in, that would make him so ecstatic. And he wouldn't want to give you away either. If I knew my toys can do that shit, I wouldn't give them to my little stupid sister. No, these yeah. are my freaking toys. These are well, special. Yeah. These but are- if he started talking about it, his parents would think that he's crazy, put him in a mental institution and take his toys away. Oh, well, you don't talk about it. That's all. They See, that's what the toys... <laughs> kids are not going to say my toys are talking to me. If the toys are smart, they were like, hey, yo, this is between me and you, Andy. <laughs> and, and and then Andy's like, all right, I got your back. I won't, I won't say anything. <laughs> Plus, how, how many times don't you talk to yourself when you're a kid and your parents are just like, oh, I just talk to himself. <laughs> Still happens now. That was good, George. That was really Boy, good. Boy. Why didn't he have good any job. horror toys? Do you imagine if he had like a like a Jason doll? And just yeah, just Toy Story and sucks because he doesn't have any cool fucking toys. He has fucking <laughs> lame-ass fucking toys, dude. Yeah. <laughs> lame-ass cowboy was his favorite toy of all time? Come on. You had a slinky dog, dude. I will, I will say <laughs> on the other the flip T-Rex. side of that, I, I personally had a, a Freddy Krueger doll when I was a kid, the one that had the pull string, and he would say, like, I'm in your dreams kind of bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't say I, bitch. I actually, was it that he one? didn't say bitch. <laughs> 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 I had it near my, my, my nightlight lamp, and at one night it actually talked on its own. After that, I was like, yeah, you got to go. You, you can't be here. <laughs> I was like, that's the toy you don't want talking back to you. That's the toy that has to <laughs> shut the fuck up and just stay where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so reading off this, it seems like 
uh, Marie loves our game. Fun game. I can't share the comments, George. Just <laughs> um, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not going to look at these damn comments if I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> uh, Jose, you guys aren't real to me. Toy Story and Toy Soldiers are in the same universe. <laughs> they kind of are, man. They're all yeah. manifested from the same thing. Okay, so I have a movie for you, Kevin, to attack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Gremlins. Gremlins? Oh, no. You got to oh, attack my Gremlins. God. Th th that movie would have been a home run if Phoebe Cates didn't go on some stupid rant about her dead dad in the fucking chimney. <laughs> like, that ruined the whole movie. What was the point of that? Stupid. Actually, you know what? They should have made that the movie, and that would have been better. But no, it was just a small little sliver in um, Gizmo. What a loser. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, I will say the, 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 the Phoebe Cates, the Phoebe Cates. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't you sing that. It's, it's such a dumb song. Corey Feldman's in it. Nobody likes Corey Feldman. Um, no. Yeah. We couldn't yeah. remember yeah, what the yeah, movie yeah. was. In. That movie sucks because Phoebe Cates isn't naked in it. That's why that movie sucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where are the boobies? <laughs> that, that was okay. my argument. Let's see. Oh, sorry, yeah. I, I, did I leave you hanging, Kevin? I was like, am I supposed to add on? No, no. <laughs> Honestly, a, I, you know, I, also the dad, the inventor. What? A, what? A, what? A, what kind of asshole provides for his family by just making stupid shit and going out on the road trying to sell it? Such a dumb, <laughs> such a dumb movie, Dad. He was gone the whole movie. <laughs> Didn't even help his kids with the monster invasion. He goes and brings them a monster that attacks a whole town, and then he just bounces out trying to sell some <laughs> stupid shaving cream toy. What an idiot. What a dumb dad. What a dumb movie dad. <laughs> good one, man. That's good. That was a good argument at the and end. And they stole man. the Back to the Future town and made it winter. They really did. Yeah. And yes, and they made it worse. <laughs> That's what they did. They made it worse. And, and also, okay. like these, I just, I just, I, I will defend it a little bit and just say, I just, I just love the fact that the gremlins are just inherently just evil. <laughs> as soon as they're born, they just, they just start causing trouble. Little assholes. <laughs> I mean, aren't we all just little assholes when we eat too much after midnight? Mm -hmm. We should be in bed. Why are we eating after midnight? Getting all wet. It's well, so we getting funny. all wet after midnight. <laughs> it's so funny. Like Stay whenever I think about Gizmo, I th like the Gizmo from Gremlins Two is the one that's in my head because it's more like perfected. It's more polished. And then I go back yeah. and look at the original Gizmo, and he looks kind of fucked up. Like I'm not gonna lie, he looks a little wonky. <laughs> Dude, he looks like your Michelangelo toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, inside to our listeners, please, yeah, please explain the joke that I just. Made. I I bought I bought a Ninja Turtle toy as a gift for myself, <laughs> at the recommendation of Chuck Action Figure Neca. Action I was figure. told Action Figure Neca. That was the company. I'm like, all right, cool. I bought it. I was so stoked for this thing to come in. I couldn't wait to do some cool photography in it, and it it it, it looks like it looks like. Like he has Down syndrome? Yes. Have you ever taken a shit and by yeah. accident it, it went on your hand? Mm hmm That's what it looks <laughs> like. The, 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 the eyes were all like, hmm. Like Droopy. it was so it was, it was so awful. And like he like um, he was melt, like he was placed in a microwave. <laughs> That's yeah. what he looked like. In the sun. Okay. All right, Chuck, you uh, ready for your movie? Wait, can I give you one, Dan? Okay, you have to attack this movie, okay? <laughs> the look in why? Dan's eyes is like, no, I don't want you Dude. to give me one. <laughs> you have yeah, to tell me why, this. why I this like movie giving sucks. it. I don't like taking it. Okay, but, yeah, but you're, you're gonna taking take... a random movie. I'm actually using yeah, the movie generator. I'm not attacking No, I, no, it's movie. this is my movie generator in my okay, brain. Okay. <laughs> so you, you <laughs> have Star to, Wars. You have, all right. Yeah, all you right, have to go. tell us why this movie sucks. Okay. Alien. Wait, aliens. Aliens, not alien, aliens. No, alien. Okay, the first one. Oh, damn it. I hate you. <laughs> okay, George. Let me stop this because I ponder this. <laughs> Is there any music or no? Oh, you want a music for this? <laughs> yeah, music. We got to hype this Maybe up like, here. It's really like Jeopardy or something, dude. Or... Yo, Dre. 
Oh up. shit! And I don't want to get flagged, <laughs> okay. so keep. So. Now I'm just getting hyped. Here's why Alien is so badass. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> here's Alien. Okay, here's why Alien is overrated. You ready for this, Chuck? No, Alien why it is sucks. overrated. I'm gonna say why it's overrated. <laughs> here's why it sucks and it's overrated. Okay, it moves very slow. It takes us a long while to get the alien, and when we see it. It's clearly just in a guy in a fucking suit. <laughs> like, <laughs> a, a, real alien. a guy in a fucking suit. Um, you know, they have this scene of this guy just eating. Like, what the fuck was he eating when the fucking you know, more came out of his stomach? Out of his rib cage? What was he eating? Cereal? <laughs> what was that? It was gross. It was bad. You have Ripley that's telling everybody don't listen, and they don't listen to her. So the entire crew is stupid. Because then they let this infected guy come back in. Like, how stupid are you? If they would have done the, what their protocol was, and left his ass out, we wouldn't have had a movie. So you have a whole shit full of a bunch of idiots that allowed this and broke protocol. They're not supposed to be idiots. So already, also, who goes into outer dumb. space and expects a good time? <laughs> exactly. Come on. I question: Aren't who people who go out? Man? Aren't they supposed to like yeah, astronauts? Must. Aren't astronauts supposed to be smart? No, they're miners. <laughs> they're supposed to be, yeah, miner. But they're still uh, trained in safety protocol. You have to yeah. follow what whatever your your scope of work is. That's what you have to follow, man. Stupid. So they're trusting people with millions and probably billions of technology, and they don't know to just follow protocol. Dumb. And then there's a cat yeah, on it. Who the fuck proto. likes cats? Who likes Why cats? Cat? Man? Why is there a cat on a fucking spaceship? <laughs> yeah, fucking, exactly. Fucking Captain Marvel. Man, that hurt. That hurts so much to say all that. <laughs> <laughs> hurt. My heart hurts. <laughs> okay. Hey, all thanks, right. man. All right, Chuck. You, you ready? Yeah, you have good. to tell me why this movie is amazing. The movie Honey. <laughs> Sorry, Jessica Alba. Did you not just say it for me already? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, dude? Honey is an amazing fucking movie because we get to look at Jessica Alba half naked for an hour and a half dancing around, <laughs> imagining that she's dancing on you. And uh, uh -huh. there you go, dude. That's it. <laughs> That's all you need? That's, what else do I need? George, what else do I need? I mean, for me personally, she oh, made me look at basketball in a whole new way. I thought basketball was just a sport. I wasn't aware... <laughs> That it was also a way of self-expression through a way of dance. She taught me that. She taught me anything could be dance. So when I'm taking out my little hungry man microwavable and putting it into the microwave, it's more than just me feeding myself. I'm also feeding my my, my dancing soul? soul, really. That's what Honey taught me. Uh, you know what? I've never seen it, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, I guess it shows I have seen it because there was a basketball scene. And it's yeah, I've never, I've never seen it. So either. bad. I'm sure her jump shots looked very accurate, right? It was really good. <laughs> very, very. Uh, no, no, you know, she right? doesn't play basketball in the movie. No, she watches some street ball and she watches the dude dribble. And she's and then she starts mimicking the dribble actions like, oh, this is a dope way to dance. Um, yeah, I, have, I have to be honest I didn't even know that that was a movie until you said it I'm yeah, like, that's what I you talking about? Yeah. Kevin's yeah, here it's like is that movie about bees I thought you were talking bees? about the new Winnie the Pooh mo movie Blood and Honey <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally going to watch that movie by the way yes. care. me too I'm totally interested in it Um, yes Jose what made it great that Julia Stiles wasn't dancing it exactly okay George, I have I one for Julie you. Stiles. Tell me why this movie is amazing. The live adaptation of the movie Aladdin. <laughs> Tell me why it's better than the cartoon. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. real. If you need some music, that. you could. I don't need music for this. There's, here's a reality. When you, when you watch all okay. of the Disney cartoons, because this is kind of a blanket statement. Every Disney cartoon when we were kids, it was always some white guy doing the voice of a, of a brown person. And we never got to have our voice shine because we're <laughs> phenomenal singers and phenomenal voice talents. Mm -hmm. And so to, to actually see someone represented that looks like me and be Aladdin, that spoke worlds to me. you know. And honestly, we've all said it. Will Smith is an underutilized talent who's obviously way more talented than <coughs> Robin Williams. Sorry, my throat got a little irritated there. 
you know? And like, when you think of genies, you think of muscular dudes. You don't think of like round things, you know? It's like well, having Will Smith, a guy who works out, be the genie, that makes total sense, you know? <laughs> and yeah. And stuff. You, know. you guys want to hop in and all? Do you guys got anything to help? But no, I just want to see how long he go. go for it. You're saying it was it was it was building world. It was a whole new world for him. It was. It a was. New world. Yeah, it was. You know, and like thinking about what Kevin said, you know, he felt weird for having a boner for Jessica Rabbit, who's a cartoon. See, I don't have to feel weird anymore about having a boner for Jasmine because now she's real. I she's a real say for girl. The she's a what? Yeah. I was gonna say for Jafar. I was Jafar. Like, Jafar. <laughs> Jano, man, Jano. All right. Yeah. Good. You good? But yeah. yeah. Okay. You know? Okay. I've never seen the movie. I never I haven't watched one live action Disney movie. <laughs> well, that's they're all, pieces, live action they're action all pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Kevin. You're up next. This is a movie you have to bash. Here? I have okay. to bash I just did a bashing. Why can't I why can't I celebrate a movie? <laughs> why can't I like something? Because okay. this is a good one, okay? Okay. Wait, what is uh, you have Ram, bash. Rambling. Genie is just hanging out and binge watching Twin Peaks or whatever while he's snacky. He's not working. <laughs> That's why you got it right. You got it right, Ronnie. Okay. The movie you had to bash is point break. Oh my God. That's why wow. I saw it and I was like, Kevin needs this one. Anthony Kiedis destroyed that movie with his cameo. <laughs> that movie, uh, first of all, what surfer is gonna rob a bank? Nobody believes that. That should they're they're too busy getting stoned. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, I, I can't. It's a it's a it's a fantastic movie. Patrick Swayze. Can't really, <laughs> I, can't, I can't bash it. It was it was unbelievable. Um I felt like I watched you having a, a brain aneurysm right now. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Because I can't it's hard for me to hate on pieces masterpieces. It's great. Uh, it was uh, Lori Petty was in it. <laughs> oh, that's why. Who likes Lori Petty? Movie. That's Petty, man. That's Petty as fuck. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it's like you keep on giving me these bulletproof things to destroy, and I can't destroy it. <laughs> okay. Lori Petty's in All it. Right. That's that 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 should that's do it right there. Yeah. Okay. She and, played and, one and, of the I, biggest I, I, villains ever. Okay, Chuck, I'm going to give you, uh, do you want to uh, bash something or do you want to praise something? Like he gets a choice? No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to give you guys your choice now on your guys' last, on you guys' next round. I always want to bash. bash something or you, you want to bash? I always want to bash, tell me, You know I want to bash. Tell me why bash Scream bash. sucks. Why does the movie Scream suck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's no yeah. nudity in it for one, stupid. Uh, Was Craven directed it? Didn't he like fucking die? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> there's another chick from Party of Five on there. Fucking dumb, dude. Everybody knows 90210 was better. How uh, bad are these guys that they need two killers? Yeah, seriously, yeah. two fucking killers. Really, really. Wow. And they had. They have what? They have what? Doug, say it. Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy was in it. Jamie Kennedy. I don't like Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, Jamie yeah, Kennedy does. was in no it. Does. There you Fucking go. Jamie Kennedy. That. Do you know that he banged Jennifer Love Hewitt? That's like saying, "Oh, uh, we're selling Bentleys for a dollar." No one fucking told me they were selling Bentleys for a dollar. I would have fucking bought one. <laughs> Bullshit, dude. Yeah. Fuck that movie. Scream Two is better. Scream Three is better. Poker, parsey, posy, poker, whatever. Parker Posey? Parker there you posy. go. Pocket full of posy. I do. This is a good reason. This right here, it's all you had to say. Teenagers. <laughs> Typical teenagers. Yeah. yeah. I agree. All right. George, you want to. Oh, wait, hold on. That was, that was Dan's, no, Dan's turn. We're talking about. Oh yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Go ahead. You you want yeah. you want to bash or you well, want to praise? The only thing is that you guys don't. Um, let's praise. I bash our I bash, our bash. movie generators all up in here. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Praise it you. says, hold on. Let me see. Praise. Oh, the Notebook. Okay. 
Why is that notebook an amazing movie, Dan? <laughs> you fucker. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> All right. So, got it. Okay. I, I got one bullet point on me, and I'm going to sell the shit. No, no, no. I got a few. Okay. Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams is America's sweetheart, is she not? Um, Ryan no. Gosling, you know. <laughs> Is America's right. sweetheart? Is America sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Help is America's sweetheart. Um, it was super popular. The book was super popular. The movie was super popular. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it, Chuck. <laughs> Despite J- your personal taste in rom com movies, it's James it's Mars. Well. Yeah, yes, James Mars, yes. who played Cyclops, it, and Cyclops yes. loses the girl. Yeah, exactly. It, uh, the, the good guy wins, and then they have the sweet moment at the end where, you know, he's has to remind her about their whole love story that's written in a notebook. That's and they clever. reference it in Just Friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, movie. phenomenal movie. Great. It, it did so well in theaters, I think. <laughs> it did so well. What was your, what was your spawn- favorite part, though? My, my favorite part was yeah. when uh, Ryan Gosling holds Rachel McAdams <laughs> so tenderly. <laughs> Which time? Like, <laughs> which which <laughs> moment? Which rushes her hair first a little time? bit, looks at her, and is like, "Your heart beats with me, like like the Notebook." <laughs> <You're so laughs> <hungry>. Like the <laughs> Notebook. <laughs> like the Notebook. <laughs> My favorite part is when they're laying down the in notebook. the middle of the street, and there's like one <laughs> second chance that you think they could just run <laughs> over Ryan Gosling <laughs> with a car. <laughs> That's one the brief part. moment of hope. And it didn't happen. It was my favorite part of the movie. It's still not over. What do you want, Dan? What do you want? (laughs) What do you want? (laughs) And that's what they ask us. Like, let let me go ahead and rewind this movie. Let's do it all over again. So I can really ponder that question, you know, that answer. What do I want? I love that movie because Kevin kind of looks like Ryan Gosling in the notebook. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. When you are you talking about the depressing part of the movie where he hated himself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, I'll take that. You like things? <laughs> okay, all right. So whose turn? George, George, Bash or Praise? We'll go with Bash and say it's Praise something shitty. Okay, Praise. Okay, Bash, Bash. You have to bash the movie. They live. Okay, I mean, it's not that hard. Like any movie with a wrestler is not going to be good. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't know what's up with these movies where they keep on thinking that wrestlers can act. They're not actors, all right? <laughs> they are. The Rock. But the guy. They act. They act. The rocks they are act. inanimate objects. Why would you name yourself after a rock? Suburban Commando <laughs> with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> so you just name movies that are great. Yeah, yeah, more movies that are GI Joe. Okay. Cart- yeah. Cartoon. Yeah. Still pieces Archie. of shit. Aladdin. They're all just guys. They like to grunt. They all have the same raspy, like, oh, oh that's, 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 that's their whole tone. Yeah. Junkyard that's- Dog, 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Sheik, Aladdin. Are you just naming wrestlers <laughs> and other counterparts, that, and that's it? <laughs> You just made me movies that they probably right. cast in, right? The wrestler, it's hey. like Tito, it's Tito, Tito like Santana, big, big show, Mama my friendly giant, what <laughs> Ito Mama Tambien. yeah, Tito <laughs> Santana, yeah, Macho Man, All right. right? That you know that one, George, you know the Slim Macho Gyms. Man, Slim Jims, yeah, now, bus, 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 saw, bus, saw, bus, 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 saw. Bonesaw. Yeah, I think that's, that proves my point of how bad of an actor he was. He couldn't even be something else. He had to be a wrestler. Macho Man and Spider-Man. Or did you guys already say that? You guys probably said mm-hmm. that. I just said that right now. Yeah. All right. Okay, next one. Kevin, bashed or praise? Uh, I'm going to praise something. <laughs> Please. <Okay. clears throat> Please. Tell us why Rocky Balboa was the best movie of that franchise. Because <laughs> I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. That is because it's so good. I was waiting for the lowest part of my life to watch the greatest movie ever made. And we all know that Sylvester Stallone is the greatest actor of our lifetime. And nothing, nothing that he has made has ever been bad or cheesy. He is one of the most serious actors ever made. And I, I mean, how many Rocky movies are there? How many uh, Rocky movies are there? Six. 
Count, six, and counting then Creed? Creed. Exactly, because yeah. that's how fucking good they are. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. Yeah. Wait, if we're counting Creed, what, does Creed 2 count then? Wouldn't it be seven? I mean, so you have to root for somebody who has a really ugly wife, and, and that's okay. I mean, that's great. No, that's eight of them, right? Because wasn't there – there is a Rocky Five, right? There is a Rocky Five, yeah. yeah. And then Rocky, Rocky Balboa is Balboa six. Balboa was six. Creed and is And then two seven. Creed's is eight. Yeah. And then he eight, sta- yeah. he yeah. started I, in I wasn't porn. Counting Creed. He started in <laughs> porn and made his way to the top, okay? That's why Rocky Balboa is so amazing that I haven't seen it. <laughs> Some could say you want to over the top. What it is that image? Yeah. It's 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 so beautiful. I don't want to ruin it with my eyes. Fair enough. Um, I like that. <laughs> Chuck froze at the perfect time. And his turtles are still alive. <laughs> are they? You know his, okay. his pet turtles he bought in like the first movie. They're still alive. He still they? has them. They should be right. So Don't I mean that that's like why. Of years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about I mean, your Ninja like, Turtle, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know about like Fury regular Bob Turtles. <laughs> but okay. I mean, so yeah, they, they do live for hundreds of years on their own. But Sylvester Stallone was in charge of these turtles, and they're still alive. So, I'll. Uh, that's more credit, I guess. <laughs> All right, Chuck, bash for praise. <sighs> We're gonna call this Smash or Pass. So smash, smash is something you want to pass. Pass is something you want to bash. Like, hey, you want to smash or you want to you want you want to pass that over, to George? Pass. Like, yeah, give it let George hit. Let George hit it. It's cool. So you want to pass it? No, I'll, I'll do it. Wait, what? Pass. Praise. <laughs> praise. You want to praise? You want to smash? Okay, I'll praise. Tell me why <laughs> Thor two, <laughs> Dark World. Because they have uh, elves. Yes, they have fucking elves, dude. How awesome are fucking elves? And they're evil. And uh, <laughs> who didn't? <clears throat> you're, good. you're on a roll. Keep yeah. going. The, Keep going. You got the this. cinematography was was amazing, right? Like I loved the cinematography. <laughs> the soundtrack was fucking phenomenal. Um, the whole Loki fake out death was was great. Like I had no idea. It's like boom, you know. Like I thought he was dead, and he wasn't, and. <laughs> Very good. Stuff. It was the first Got time me. Loki died and showed us that he could never die. Yes. Yeah, That's... and they went dark with it, man. They didn't give us such corny Marvel. You know, everything's peachy. They showed us the darkness of Marvel. Yeah, it was dark. That's why. That's why it wasn't like because it was dark. dark. They went dark. and it provided a setting movie. for Avengers Endgame. A plot point for Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Jose yeah. says it was great because it was so bad it made Ragnarok that much better. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Dan, smash or pass? Um, Let's go. Let's smash. Let's do praise. Smash? He's going to praise yeah. something. I'm going to praise, praise something. something. Oh, you're going to praise? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll you praise. want to praise? You praise? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, oh, huh. okay. I'm looking at my horror list here. Oh, wow. Generator, Killer Clowns from Outer Don't. Space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to praise Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That was why that was so, <laughs> such a good movie, Dan. <laughs> okay. So, Clowns from Outer Space did such a very, very good job with their character sculpt. Like, their those clowns are so unique and original. You've never seen anything right. with that type of quality. So in other hard. horror movies and kevin knows a person that knows a person that created those designs so kevin knows somebody so if we played the what are the six what is the six degrees of kevin six bacon, degrees of kevin bacon we're we're close and there's kevin right there so that's how close we are to these people if it was like a killer clowns how close are we to people that worked on that movie we're like two people away we're removed um yeah <laughs> it calls for credit. <laughs> it's basically like you created it it's basically like you made it you basically made killer clowns yeah. from outer space yeah. yeah and like i love the fact that they that they spell clowns with a k that's so unique and clever like it's cool the right. music was awesome like killer yeah killer who doesn't love yeah. sloppy horror sloppy horror is amazing especially when they intend to make it bad <laughs> great stuff. you know it's like smut it's like, smut. It's like snuff fun fact. it's like snuff Mortal Kombat yeah. decided to do that K thing because of Killer Clowns. 
Huh? True, Look at true that. story. Look at that. <laughs> You're gonna hit that. Is it's another nose made up fact. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. I believed it actually. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, killer clowns. Yeah, they revolutionized. <laughs> They're the reason why they made b- intentional bad movies. They're literally the very first ones to ever do it in history. You don't need to Google it. They're the very first ones to ever do it and the best ones to ever do it. <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It was so good that they're giving us a video game that if it does well, they're probably going to give us a sequel. That's how amazing they are. So much that they made Funko Pops and they made them incorrectly. <laughs> According to Kevin's knowledge on our last episode, they made them incorrectly. But yeah, so <laughs> awesome. Killer yeah. Clowns. Good job, Dan. Good job. <laughs> I feel so dirty Bravo. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take a shower. All right. All right, George. Shower Smash your pass. <clears throat> All right, let's uh Smash your pass. What's the last thing I did? Did I bash a movie last time? Uh, so let's no, I think you praised it. I praised Didn't all right, let's not? bash a movie this time then. Let's bash. Let's okay. bash a classic. You ready? Get, get. Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I think we have to think about like how how smart was Thanos really when we look at the whole thing. <laughs> All right, okay. he, I'm, I'm very serious. This is not going to be a hard challenge for me. This motherfucker waited this whole series. We had two other Avengers films. We had a civil war. We had all, all this bullshit happening, and he's sending mm-hmm. out cro- these cronies of like, oh, go get these gems for me. Go get this shit for me. Fully aware that he's the best in the universe to take care of this job but he's sending out these lackeys who aren't tried and true they're not tested like ronin and shit like that it takes all these people to fail from the realize like oh shit i guess i should do it myself you should have done it yourself from the beginning you dumbass why did you wait so long like you're so sick he's not that smart he's a freaking idiot all right and then hey. going, to, going to the end where we have like the, the whole oh you should have aimed for the head thing how did thor forget that he is a warrior that he is a killer, and mm-hmm. he throws his stupid freaking axe hammer at his shoulder. It's like, dude, you're a professional at this. All you do is kill bitches. That's what you like. Your whole popularity <laughs> was built on you killing and just destroying other fucking groups of fucking aliens or gods or whatever. <laughs> Thor one shows us this. He goes off the battlefield, just fucking shit up, and yet over here he forgets. Like, oh yeah, I forgot. That's what I do. I kill people. Not only that, they completely Dumbass. erased his character development from the previous movies. Like, you don't need a weapon. You have the power inside you. And then the very next movie is like, Seriously. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. <laughs> he becomes freaking Master Chief. Give me a weapon. No, you don't need a fucking weapon. You are lightning. Yeah, and most importantly, no Hawkeye. Fuck Infinity War, dude. Yeah, no Hawkeye. Yeah, there's freaking everything. <laughs> there's no Hawkeye. And there's a giant Peter Dinklage. There's a giant Peter Dinklage. That, no, Are we honestly, forgetting about that was this? the best part of the entire movie. I know. I'm just trying to sell it, Kevin. Fun fact. <laughs> yes, I know. Peter is also another way of saying penis, so he's just a giant penis. <laughs> <laughs> but a dick. <laughs> nice. also a, dink, a, man, a dinky penis. one at that. He's a dinky a one. Dinky one. Okay. All right. All right. No laws made up factor. That's just real. That's just a fact. <laughs> yeah. Kev, smash or pass? I think you should pass. Well, I did two bashes. Oh, I did know. you? I'll, okay. I'll, you know what? I'll let I'll let Chuck decide for me. Should I? What should I do? Should I hate on uh, something or should I love on something? Love it. Okay, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why Hot Shots is better than Top Gun. <laughs> Oh my god, because it has comedy. <laughs> Top Gun is just so boring. I rewatched Top Gun, okay? <laughs> it is not as great as everybody seemed to make it feel like in the late 80s and early 90s. Like that was not a great movie. It had some cool music, but that was about it. What was the point of it? Hot shots. My god, Charlie Sheen, cocaine, comedy. Boom, that is just a that that is that's just the the selling point right there. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Tiger blood. Bro. Tiger blood. <laughs> I, I feel like it's been a while since you've seen Hot Shots. I, I, but you know what? And I still remember it better than Top Gun. Wait, are we talking That's about the true. original Top Gun or the new Top Gun? 
the whole franchise. Mm. Hot Shots no. is better you than You said Top Gun, so I'm going to assume okay. the first Top Gun. Yeah. Okay. I assume Hot Shots is way too. better. Okay. Yeah. I will okay, always prefer comedy over Tom Cruise. <laughs> over Tom Cruise. You're right. He's never done comedy. Well, I mean, he mm-hmm. has, but not well. I mean, well, I mean, comedy's really good at making fun of him. Who's That's who's the main he... grip? Who's the main grip over there? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Punch him in the face as hard as you can. <laughs> really fucking hard. Uh, all, although I heard that they're they're doing a, a sequel to that or a spinoff. A spinoff. A less, a less gross. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Yep. All right, Chuck. Smash or pass? Uh, what did I do last? I did smash, you right? Praise, because you did uh, yay smash. Okay, I'll do praise. That's you. You want to smash again? Praise. Oh, he's gonna well, praise smash. Something. Let's smash. You want to smash it? You want to praise? Let's smash. Tell me why smash. the movie. Tell me why the movie Us is awesome. <laughs> Us? <laughs> yeah. Is that what Bruce Willis? <laughs> no, this one directed by Jordan Peele. What? Oh, that's the story of us. Oh, wh- why that movie that's sucks or it's good? Because no, Bruce awesome. Willis wasn't in it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, us is awesome because it represents the black community very well. <laughs> and we need that, you know, because we need to come together as a society, as a, as a country, as a world, you know, which coincides with the whole theme of the movie, like hands across America world. <laughs> and it was such America. like, just, it, it just really got to me, you know, especially like, you know, after everything that happened with the guy who got um, choked with a cop. <laughs> How good was the filmmaking? Was it awesome? It was beautiful. <laughs> Like, I just, you know, I just, I you know when I watched it, I just, I couldn't, um, I just couldn't believe what I was watching, you know, it just really got to me and I loved it. And I have a friend who's, and I feel like, I was just trying to speak from the heart, you know, Belden Jewelers straight from the heart. Yes. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> smash or pass? <laughs> now we're at it. Now no, we're out of time. time. We're out of time, man. <laughs> yeah, we're we're out of time. <laughs> we'll do it next time. But thank you, everybody, for catching another episode of Nas Off Topic, live unfiltered show. You can watch us every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We also have our Tuesday podcast that drops on YouTube. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, share. <laughs> Is that funny? You're laughing at not a strong start. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so please like, subscribe, comment, share. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, at Not a Strong Start. You can also listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I'm your host, Daniel. You can follow me at King underscore Sangre. And I am your other guy, Nicolopolis. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. And please like and follow all of us so that we can keep Chuck alive. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I'm Chuck. You can find me at Chad Radwell 12. <clears throat> and I'm Kevin. You can find me at Twin Pines Video. Mm-hmm. Where you also do some good content on YouTube. Go ahead and follow yeah. him at Twin Pines Video. A lot of go. digital art, so, photography, and other video content. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for checking us out. George, you can take us out. <laughs>